My name is Griffin Kale. I'm an account executive at Holista Plan, and today I'm going to show you a demo of our award-winning tax planning software now being used by thousands of financial planners across the country. We'll start here in the household screen by creating a household by clicking add household and then adding the first, last name, and date of birth. Notice that by because I added the date of birth, age milestones populate related to RMDs, QCD eligibility, as well as other items adjacent to Social Security and Medicare. From here, I will upload the return. This can be an electronic copy of the return that came directly from the tax preparation software or CPA via the client, or a scanned copy that the client brought in paper copy to you and then you scan and upload it from there. This video has not been sped up in any way, and you'll notice that during this time, our software is reading in the return and populating two distinct fields, the tax report within the software, as well as the scenario analysis screen in order to model and report out on potential changes that you might make in the future. Here in this screen, you can quickly sort or filter for different age milestones or AGI, age, etc in order to quickly find the clients you might be looking for. If you're looking to do a project around RMDs, quickly filter down for all your clients who have RMDs this year. From here, we'll jump into the tax report. As we work through the tax report, notice that your logo is here at the top along with key figures related to AGI, deductions, and other items. We've also calculated out here average rate, as well as that number for safe harbor penalties. Marginal tax bracket summary here, as it relates to where they fall for ordinary and long-term gain income. MAGI tiers for those different credits or deduction types. An itemized deduction summary. Medicare B and D premium summaries for future years and where those adjustments will fall. Schedule D, capital gains and losses and any carry forward that the client might have. As well as schedules B, C and E income sources and quick summary of those items. From here, we jump to the observations. These are both actionable and educational items. Starting with items such as how much of a client's Social Security earning is being taxed or the fact that they're being subject to net investment interest tax. These are items that help you go deeper with the client providing education as well as some potential planning opportunities for some clients. And then you have deeper and more actionable strategies around the reality that this client particularly is unable to contribute directly to a Roth and we might discuss a back to a Roth. Or in the specific case of this client, they had just turned over the age of 70 and a half and were eligible to make qualified charitable distributions as a part of maybe their RMDs for the future or just a way to provide charitable contributions as an above the line deduction. Any of these items may be hidden, edited, or added to directly, as well as moved around. If you'd like, you can also edit the entire layout of the report by going in, unchecking boxes to hide those items, such as those MAGI tiers where the client was over on every deduction, or maybe a sore subject like Medicare. From here, we'll go back and look at the scenario analysis screen. At the same time as our software was bringing in data to populate that tax report, it also populated here on the scenario analysis screen. From here, we will have a baseline to start with, the 2020 return that we uploaded for this client. We can copy over that information into column two, give it a name, update the year, and then change any assumptions we might have about the client's taxes. If the client had children in the new year, well, let's add dependents. If the client made additional income at work, or we already know about the fact that the client made a, a contribution to a charity. Let's drop down to those itemized deductions 
delete the override, and then enter that 60% AGI limit charity deduction. So now we have a baseline to work with. The best place I find to start is here at Solve for Max. This button is going to give us a very basic piece of information. Here is the amount of ordinary income or long-term capital gains that you can add to this client's return before there's any change in their effective rate. That ordinary income number could look like a Roth conversion, additional taxable IRA distributions, or any other type of income that is going to affect that ordinary income rate. Long-term gains, of course, would affect potential stock sales or other types of sales that might result in those long-term capital gains. From there, we can jump into range calc. The range calc tool is going to give us that same information, but at a deeper level. Here, we can see left to right as we add income what the impact would be on adding ordinary income, hence where that 20,000 number came from on that software max. If we were to go back and say notice that the client had already sold some stock this year and jump right back into range calc, we're subsequently going to see the impact on what if we added instead that 20,000 now. Well, now that 20,000 is costing us a fair bit more in effective tax rate. And the reason why is that capital gain is being taken into account whenever we add ordinary income. Because currently, the client is being taxed at a total capital gain rate of 0%. If we would go and push past that, well now that capital gain is being phased into taxation. We can see the impact of that. We can also see the impact of refundable child tax credit phase out for the 2021 tax year in this client's case. This is for the smaller impact payment that came from the CARES and American Rescue Plan credits. Same thing above here for the net investment interest tax. So we can take this information back that we have, that 15,500 number that we just got from Software Max again, and use it as a potential Roth conversion. We show the client that number and maybe we want to show some additional options. Let's go in and copy that information again, give it a new name, and update that Roth conversion number. Maybe you want to go for a huge Roth conversion. Let's call it the biggest conversion. Update our Roth conversion amount to 80,000 and potentially take some additional long-term capital gains to offset that tax bill. Now we can quickly show the client down below exactly what their total tax bill would be or their total tax bill net of refundable credits. You can see the credits that are impacting this client particularly and how we've currently phased them out of that $1,600 from the American Rescue Plan. Going down, we also see how that's impacted their MAGI opportunities. If a client was still taking a student loan interest deduction, we might want to really consider something like, uh, that's way too high. Also, if a client is being affected by Medicare premium adjustments in future years, we can see the impact those Medicare premiums would have. Down below, we can go in and update their withholdings to get a really good idea of what their return or bill would be directly. Notice as well the state tax withholding calculator, which you can opt into state tax beta by going to admin and my account and then joining state tax beta. From there, we could go in, update the state that the client is in, in my case, North Carolina, and show the impact that that would have on their client's state tax rate. I also want to point out to you the scenario recipe drawer. This is a really helpful tool when thinking through how to potentially model items that you haven't modeled before, or it's unclear exactly how to do so. Equity compensation is one that comes up very often as this is not something we all deal with every day. How these items are taxed 
is explained here and where within the software we think the best case to create that item is. You can also look at potential QCDs for a client and how we think the best case to build that scenario is. Or our best practice for, as I just showed you, a Roth conversion. This is a really helpful tool if you're just getting into tax planning or you haven't done it in some time and want to try to find a new way to model out potential changes for a client. I'll start over here by moving these scenarios over to the bank for later. And now I'm going to pull this one back, remove that Roth conversion and potentially show the impact of that, that same client of the potential of selling a business. Maybe the client is going to sell a business this year for $105,000 in gains. Or we could show them the impact instead of taking that same amount over two years. From here, I've navigated back to my household screen and I'm going to navigate to a specific household. Within here, I'm going to show you two of our premium features. One, which allows you to quickly type out and create a scenario analysis without actually having a return uploaded. From here, you can type any information you'd like to type, create the scenario, and then jump in and model and plan with manual data entry from your end. The other aspect is the tax prep letter. This allows you to quickly add specific actions that the client took throughout the year that were tax implicative, and then produce a tax prep letter that shows them exactly what forms and documents they need to take with them to their CPA, accounting, or prep meeting for their own tax return. One of the ways that we've seen this help tons of advisors is by creating better relationships with CPAs as they're providing more educated clients and providing all the information up front. There's also a CPA facing version here in case they want to see a little bit less information. Then when we upload this client's return at the end of the year, we get at the bottom of the tax report some basic information that tells you exactly where to go onto their specific 1040 or within specific files or schedules and see where these actions should have been noted or taken place. I wanna invite you to check out our software. We have a free seven day trial that includes three uploads of your own during that time. I hope that you'll navigate here to holistaplan.com and start free trial to get started today.